Recapping from where we were yesterday, the first thing we want to do here is uh, organize things a little bit. I'm going to put the device frame on the top. I'm going to grab these little guys and bring them a little bit farther to the bottom. And these guys, I'm going to move them a little bit to the side. I'm gonna grab one of these frames and then bring it closer to the feed. So what's gonna happen is this card is gonna go to this expansion of this recipe. So meaning that there will be this photo here and there'll probably be the recipe name. I'm just gonna copy and paste. And then it's gonna be the time it paste in place from the bottom so it's really pasting 21 pixels from the bottom so that's why it's going all the way down okay so now I'm gonna grab one of the action items which are in our case ingredients I'm just clicking tapping alt and dragging I'll put it here at the bottom. I'm gonna go a couple of ingredients. And then I wanna go ahead and put the photo here. Choose. Vision. So so far so good. So from here what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab this little guy and then to extend it to here and what that does and then on the prototype tab it would automatically create a tab the default is to create a tab interaction I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and open it from here just so you can see you can click this little tab and it will say you either have three options navigate open link console log if you put navigate uh, you can choose the frame, in this case, Apple iPhone SE, but I'm gonna call it recipe details. So when I come over here, I choose recipe details, it would automatically, I can also alternative, alternatively just press L and then it will connected. Now if we zoom out and we grab our tab, I'm gonna press I'm gonna go ahead and lock it and then when I tap it will come here. Now this is getting stretched to the bottom so I'm just gonna move it a little bit. And then what I notice is that I have no back button. So I'm gonna create that here. So I press F. And I will create an icon in a little bit, but this is just like a phrase holder. Let me get around 44. And then I'm gonna go to the prototype tab, tap on tab, navigate. Instead of the target being the next one of these things, I'm gonna go ahead and just put previews. And then I'm gonna refresh. I go over here and the, what that does is it just remembers where it came from. Just come over here. Bam. Again, I'm also gonna create another frame here and I'm gonna make it smaller. I'm gonna bring it to the top. And I'm gonna make it like I'm gonna grab from my color presets. It's gonna like a blue or something. I'm gonna type. I'm gonna make it like white. Make it a little bolder. And then 
I'm gonna create a button here. It says save recipe. Let me change that color of that button maybe to like an orange or something. Grab this little guy here. Bring this guy here. And then by default what will happen is that this thing will push from this side, from the right. If I just press command P it will open over here and if I press recipe you see it will open and it will expand the size of the preview. What I want to do is I want to change this push to overlay and then instead of coming from the side I want it to come from the top and I want the background to be very dark maybe like 60. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh from the top and then just let it go so when I'm yeah. I refresh a little bit there we go there we go and then we can come back yes so on our next episode I'm going to show you how to create walkthrough for somebody who has never used your app using the page component I'll see you in the next video